What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. The first thing is, I'm sorry if I sound really dead or I just like, I look really tired of things. I just woke up, but I wanted to put this video out just before it's too late because the Yeezys do release on Wednesday. And the second thing is, please, 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 please watch the end of the video or just watch everything so you guys know exactly how to get the Yeezys. First things first, I'm gonna tell you guys how to get them through Foot Locker, Foot Action, or the Champs app. I never really have a video out on this, but a lot of people have been asking a lot of questions and I have learned a lot of things over the times I've been using it. So I want to give that information out to you guys so you guys can use that information to your advantage. So to start off, you want to have those apps, obviously, and you want to have accounts. But when you get those accounts, you want to open up the membership for those accounts. So there's like the VIP, um, the Platinum or whatever account it is. First, you need to like open an account with them, like have your own card and then the next thing you need to do is spend money in those stores. So you need to spend at least, I know for Champs it's 300, I think for Foot Locker it's 300 as well, and for Foot Action it's 225. And you need to go ahead and go to the stores and spend that money at least two days or three days before the countdown ends. By the way, it doesn't matter what you buy, buy whatever it takes, just buy whatever you have to buy to get to the minimum, to get to the VIP or Platinum card or whatever it is but you do need to spend money. And right now is really a good time for that because you have Thanksgiving coming up, you got Christmas coming up, and you can use that money and use them for gifts, use them for yourself, use them for whatever you need to, but make sure you fill that space up. Also make sure that you do have to spend $300 or $225, whichever store it is. So you gotta make sure that what you're paying is all the money, all that money is going to Champs, Foot Action, or Foot Locker not the taxes though because the taxes doesn't go to them i'm pretty sure and i learned that the hard way because i spent 300 something dollars but they took the tax off and it only put my account to 290 so i was off 10 dollars. so i had to go back and buy more stuff and get that into the account and you guys are probably wondering right now why do i need to buy all these things well in order to actually get the shoes at least have a better chance in getting them is you need to have a head start so the first head start gives you i think like a three minute head start which is when you have like an account with that store. The second one is spending at least their minimum to get to like the higher tier of their cards, which is what I'm telling you to spend money for. And that gets you to a five minute head start. And the next one is going to the store and actually checking in. So for all you that have been striking on those three apps, that's probably why, because you don't have that six minute head start. Believe me, that six minute head starts a lot. Not a lot of people have that because they don't know. It. And I'm pretty sure if you struck out you're probably one of those people that have, probably have the five minute start or just a three minute, but you don't have the six. I've successfully succeeded on Foot Locker every single time. I've got every single shoe, and that's because I've got a six minute head start on that every time. And I realized that on Champs and Foot Action, I did not have that. So that's how I realized from my mistakes that I could have got the shoe, but I wasn't using the apps to my full potential. Okay, and just then when you have spent your money and you see it shows up on your account on your phone, because you can check it there, make sure it's on your phone before you go to reserve the shoe. That's the main thing because if you go to reserve the shoe and then you go to buy something, it does not apply, you won't get that head start. You need to make sure that money gets in your account first and then you can finally go ahead and reserve the shoe. And then you will have the advantage in the head start. Okay, so after you set up your reservation and you do have a five minute head start, which is how you know you did this right, you will only have a five minute head start. You, you can still get that six minutes, but what you have to do is you have to physically go into the stores that are listed down below when you reserve. And I'm not gonna go into how to use the app because I already did. So go ahead and watch that video. If anything, I'll link it down in the description down below. So you gotta go to the store, make sure you either go talk to the sales associate about the app and they'll either put in a code for you or they'll take you to their beacon, which is what it's called, which is literally just right next to the register and you can just click head start details, check in, and then it's gonna say congratulations, you checked in. If not, it's gonna say, oops, something was wrong, there's no beacon in rage or something, and that's when you put the code in instead. And guys, it's pretty much as simple as that. A lot of people are probably gonna dislike me for this now because a lot of people do know the trick, I'm pretty sure. I've, I've talked to a few people here and there that got like a bunch of shoes from stores, and I asked them how they did it too, and that's how I also confirmed like that's the way to get the shoes from these apps. And now a lot of people are probably gonna get mad about it because they're probably gonna strike out sometimes, but in my opinion, I believe in equality. I feel like everybody should have the same opportunity to get the shoe, because after all, like that was basically the point of this app. And it's just like back in the day when I couldn't get shoes, it was really annoying. I wish I had the fair chance. And now I'm putting 
I'm trying to basically get everybody on the same page and give everybody that same fair chance. And like, even that puts me at risk because I'm probably not gonna get the shoe now or I might, who knows. It's just better for everybody in my opinion. And moving on to the other ways you can get Yeezys, they're really kind of the hard ways. Um, you can use the bot, which it will help you a lot, especially through the Adidas website. And you can also try foot sites, which have not been successful lately. But you can go, still give them a shot, go ahead and use proxies and servers, which if you guys don't know what that is, then I will be making videos on those later on. There will be a lot of opportunities for you guys to get easy, so don't get mad if you strike out. I understand you'll probably get aggravated. I probably would too, to be honest, but honestly, don't sweat it in the end. They are just a pair of shoes. For more details on the stores or online stores that are releasing them, go ahead and go, go to soullinks.com. They usually do have a full list of everybody that's selling them, so go ahead and check them out. I really hope this video helped you guys out a lot. I hope everybody can have an even chance of getting the Yeezys now. By the way, if you're consistently on my channel, I will be changing up the schedule this week on how I'm making videos. Like, Copper Drop might be tomorrow, but then Tuesday I'm going to make, like, I'm not going to put a bot video up. I'm going to put a Black Friday deal through GOAT because I, I see they're doing something new with that. So I want to make a video on that as well. Honestly, the holiday is going to be crazy. There's going to be a lot more content coming out now because there is a lot to talk about. There's a lot of shoes releasing, a lot of hype stuff releasing. So please stay tuned on my channel. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 1,000 by the end of this year. We are at 858 right now, which is really good. We had like 800 last week, which is really good. Thank you guys so much. It's your boy, I see you sign out. Make sure you stay woke. Peace.